Harris and the latest on the investigation into the Michigan Wolverines. There's a question as to whether number two ranked Michigan violated an NCAA rule by scouting future opponents in person at games. Coach Jim Harbaugh is denying any knowledge of or involvement in any alleged scheme to steal opponent signs through scouting trips to out-of-town games. And we have some breaking news on this story. Pete Thamel has been working it. Pete, what do you have? Yeah, Jay, uh, late last night, Mark Schlebaugh and I posted a story on ESPN.com that said the center, or one of the centerpieces of the NCAA investigation into Michigan centered around a low-level staffer named Connor Stallions. He was listed in Michigan's analytics department. He had worked in recruiting, and there was interest in uh, the NCAA capturing his laptop to see if he was a part of this sign-stealing operation. Uh, just moments ago, Michigan announced that Connor Stallions has been suspended with pay. That came from Michigan Athletic Director Ward Manuel. There was no further details other than his suspension, but it certainly seems to confirm what sources had told us that Stallions, who's an ex-military who volunteered for years at Michigan and been a full-time staff member for a little over a year, was a central part of this investigation. So what's the potential timeline, Pete, as, as this story goes forward? Well, if there's one thing we've learned about NCAA investigations, the only certainty is they will operate slowly. I will say that the way the Big Ten has messaged this and the way the NCAA is acting with this, it does seem to me that they have a decent amount of evidence. I think it's unrealistic considering the history of NCAA investigations to think anything could significantly impact this current Michigan season. That would go against the timelines of NCAA investigations as we've known them to unfold the past couple decades. What we do know is that Jim Harbaugh already has an ongoing investigation into his program for recruiting violations during the COVID-19 dead period. He's potentially facing additional suspensions for those violations, and these additional allegations could include head coach control if they do find there was a legal sign stealing by going and scouting opponents' games in opposition stadiums. All right, and uh, you can stay with Sports Center for the very latest on this story. Pete Thamel with the latest. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate you. Give something.